So how about we implement a solution to a simple but real world problem using recursion so that we can test our understanding of it and practice our skills. Let's do it. Welcome back to LittleAlchemist.io. My name is Leandro Bigetti. And my idea for this video is to implement an improvement over a code we did here in this channel in a previous video. I'll put a link here in the card, which is a guess the word game. It's pretty straightforward. There's an Elixir application, which is actually just an Elixir script, a .exs, which runs once. We give the player a few tips about what is the word that we want the player to guess. And the player has exactly one attempt to try to guess the word correctly. If he guesses it correctly, a win message is displayed. If he doesn't, a loss message is displayed. This is how the code looks like. In this first section, we're displaying the hints, then we're capturing the player input, and finally on this case, we're deciding if he win or loses. But this game is a little bit boring because ideally, we want this game to keep running until the player guesses the word correctly. And how can we do that? Yes, recursion. We also talked about recursion in a previous video. Again, I'll link the card here above. And one of the core ideas is to think about when you break the recursion. Think about where you wanna end up when you're first trying to implement the recursion. So it's kind of backward. You think about where you wanna end up before you start doing it. But one of the things you also need is a function. So let's transform this Elixir script into a function within a module. First thing we'll do is we'll create this new file here. And we're gonna name it game.ax as opposed to .axs, as our other file is named. Within this file, we're gonna define this module game, and we're just gonna create a simple function here named play, game.play. That sounds kind of right. And at first, we're just gonna paste everything we have in the other file into this one. Now, we're gonna capture this core part of the logic here, and we're gonna create another function so that we can call and implement recursion. That is, we're gonna make the function call itself. We can name this function, in this case, attempt, right? The player is gonna attempt to get the word correctly. So we're gonna define this new function attempt. So we're gonna dismantle this case here into different heads of the same function. Again, let's think about when this ends. When are we gonna break our recursion? When is our logic complete? Well, when the player guesses the word correctly, right? So let's start with that head of the function. So we're defining attempt here, and in the argument, instead of passing in a variable, we're gonna already define it with what we want, which is in a string with the content bread. In this case, the player has won. So we're just gonna display a winning message. Simple enough. So now that we dealt with the case that the player is winning, which is when we break our recursion, let's deal with the other cases. The cases when the player is not getting the word correctly, when he's inputting the wrong guess. So let's define another head for this function, attempt, and we can call our argument wrong guess. So we wanna display something saying that the input is not correct, that this is not the word we're trying to guess, and we can tell the player to try again, and then we're gonna capture another take of the player guess. And now is the critical part. How do we wrap this up? How do we make this loop over itself? We call this function again. Once we have the new guess, we simply call attempt guess again. In other words, when we call this function, it's gonna go through the second head every time the guess is wrong, and it's gonna call itself again with the new guess, and every time it's wrong, it's gonna go through the second head. We're stuck there in this loop until we finally get the correct guess, which is bread, and then it's gonna go through the first head, and that is not gonna call itself, so that is going to break the recursion. So now we have a much more fun game. We can just run this once, and the game is just going to run and let the player perform several attempts before it exits, before it breaks off, which is exactly what we wanted in the first place. To wrap this up, we got the Elixir version of a script and made it into modules and functions. The script before was only running once, so the player had one attempt to guess the word, either correctly or incorrectly. So we made that into a function. We made the core logic into another function, which we implemented recursion. This new function calls itself. And we started with the end game in mind, with when the player wins. This is when we break the recursion. By doing it like that, now our game runs like this. We guess incorrectly, we can try as many times as we want. And if we guess correctly, it breaks off. We win. Boom! Headshot.
All right, hopefully this makes sense and helps you improve your understanding of recursion. If you like this video, hit that like button. It makes a lot of difference to see what's working out, what's not. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video. Take care and happy brewing.